Hello and welcome to another Foundry for Warhammer quick tip and this one is about the effects tab. So the effects tab, well uh, you can apply effects of course directly on the token if, oh, if you right click it you get this thing here it can be a little difficult to see especially if you zoomed out you can of course zoom in every time you want to do something to oh, uh, to a token but it's still a little bit difficult to see uh, but luckily there is the effects tab one two three four five six one depending on if you have magic or religion I think um, here are the effects the players can uh, also see this and apply them themselves but you as a GM you can also do it if you click on them you get a description which is very handy also for the players so they know which is which and if you want to apply them just simply click there and it will light up <laughs> literally this will light up and um, of course where there's conditions where you can have multiple ones you can click them multiple times and when there's only one you can just activate them and just click them again to deactivate them and right click them to decrease them and usually when uh, you lose your bleeding condition for instance you get a stun condition or fatigue condition I mean and it will automatically apply so this is very handy uh, a little bit more clearer than the uh, this thing of course if you know where everything is this is a quick access to the effects um, below that you have temporary effects um, basically these are effects that only last for a short while or a set amount of time um, other than the things that are already here so usually things from spells or mostly custom things um, you can create your own ones by adding the plus and then just editing this uh, to say whatever you want it to say um, and just delete it if you want to delete it uh, injuries things like a torn muscle for instance uh, it will say where it, where it is and uh, how long it takes uh, it also has a description these are, these are things that usually are the result from uh, critical wounds and criticals themselves are also listed here they usually uh, last shorter for instance the badly jarred arm uh, which lasts only for the uh, for the attack for the combat I mean um, psychology frenzy also description uh, corruption and mutations uh, these are things that are also listed in the passive effects here you can see frenzy and torn um, muscle and uh, unending malice everything but these are like the the sort of like the talents passive effects and they also have m m usually have multiple effects but here you can see they're categorized into what which is which and here it lists what it does and what it is same with frenzy and if you click here you can actually change the effect if you wanted to um, some diseases festering wound uh, apparently he contracted a couple of festering wounds he has red fever and um, let's say system effects we want to hey let's even cost and sneezes because he has red fever there we go cost and sneezes cool um, applied effects these are um, things that will well be applied <laughs> yeah, they're pretty straightforward there's nothing uh, too surprising about that uh, yeah uh, that's the um, the effects tab uh, this is basically just an overview and uh, you will use this probably the most so I hope this was another useful tip and I'll catch you in the next one bye bye